With any atrocity, I think getting the scale of it across is one of the real challenges. I think you can talk you know, until you're blue in the face about numbers and things like that, but really people can't latch onto that in the same way. Whereas what the VR does is it, it puts you directly in the shoes of a, of a survivor, of a victim of the genocide, of the atrocities committed by ISIS against the Yazidi minority. We were just in a school in Croydon where we had the chance to show this to students and a lot of them didn't know much about the Yazidi genocide. The students were, were quiet, which for a group of 16, 17 year olds is, is rare. It was clear that the, the pupils had been really, really affected by the experience. After watching the virtual reality, they showed a level of empathy for the Yazidi community, but also talked about the problems of discrimination, of othering, and also how we can try and address those issues. The way that the VR was able to highlight this theme of radicalisation, I think would have a, a real application in whatever you're doing, whether you're teaching specifically about a piece of history, um, or genocide as I was, if you're specifically looking at um, counter-terror, education or prevention, I think the VR would have a real application in that.